Say something. That that sounds a bit better. Yeah. Uh, I don't like to move too close to the camera because people it's frightened yeah, people. That, that, that's oh, Bridget! <laughs> don't Bridget. shout. Bridget what? came and went. Yeah. <laughs> She's come How back. Are you, I haven't. I haven't had the pleasure of meeting you yet. She, Hello. Oh, she's not there yet. Hang on. She's not there yet. <laughs> she was. Mm. She was there just now. Yeah. Mm. Come Hello. back. There she is. She looks worried. Can you hear us? Oh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> morning. Good morning. Ah, oh, hello, Bridget. <laughs> oh. I was reading. I was. I googled Belgium just now. Uh, earlier about half hour ago and it came up like 20 20 facts you should know about belgium <laughs> and i'm i'm up to speed on belgium now all right all oh. oh, right <laughs> you have to enlighten <laughs> us it, was, it, was great. it sounds a little bit like us yeah no different are you just people <laughs> yeah <laughs> they could lose their government and still carry on. Oh. Oh, full oh, of it. Oh. I've got loads of facts. They're useless facts. <laughs> oh. the best. Don't tell them their chocolate's rubbish, otherwise you're, <laughs> you're in trouble. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Where's Chris gone now? Oh, I don't know where I've gone. Oh, my dear. This technology. Uh -huh. I'll ask you to start your video again. Can you hear so me? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. My screen's gone blank. What have I done now? I just. Asked. Sorry, I disappeared last week. The connection just went. Oh well, right, you wondered what had happened to you. <laughs> and I kept trying to get in, and no response. I thought, oh, right. <laughs> I didn't like to ring. I didn't <laughs> like to ring and disturb you. <laughs> uh, oh. I'm a. I'm by the window not looking at the screen so i wouldn't oh, right. gone. oh so yeah. if i'd run you it'd have been all right would it you would have answered <laughs> that's good for reminding me i don't i'll go and get my phone it's hooked up at the moment right um, here's one it's only just a um belgium invented french fries is they? wow <laughs> an interesting fact <laughs> well there you go <laughs> Uh, are Anne and Gordon coming today or are they still away? Um, no, we came back yesterday. Right. Uh, after our two weeks' holiday. Um, I spoke to Gordon this morning. He's had a bad toothache. He had to go to the dentist. Oh, right. right. Um, so he possibly, well, I don't think he'll be here. Uh, they, said right. they, they said they were going to struggle to get here because mm, they're right. trying to get him into the dentist. Yeah. 
bit yeah, late. I spoke to fake, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I spoke to him this morning, but he's not feeling too special. No, um, and said she might look in, but I don't know. I don't expect she will. Well, she doesn't know how to set, start the system up, so Gordon has to do it, and then, um, you know, then she's all right. She can sit, right. sit yeah. in front of it, but she doesn't know how to connect it and do all that stuff. No, and she doesn't like seeing herself on the screen or anybody else seeing her. I know, it's a bit, <laughs> it's a bit like to the, to the dark what? shadow, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> she does pop in every now and then, sort of pops her head around the corner. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here comes Joyce. Good morning, Joyce. Good Hello. morning. Hi. Morning. Good morning. Uh, Hi, everybody. Hello. Yeah. Hi. Thank you. Are we all hot? Yeah. It's pretty warm, isn't it? <laughs> it's it's yeah, a nice it nice treat, isn't it? After last week. I know. I know. Yeah. The trouble is, it goes from one extreme to the other, doesn't it? I know. It's on a, on a downward yeah, slope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but hey ho. Well, I've got a, one of these OAP heating oh. sheets here. Oh, yeah, I've got one of those. Yeah. And it it moves, it's gone off the scale. It says 27 degrees C. Oh, gosh. It says hot. <laughs> Reduce the heat, but stay warm. Babies may overheat. Well, that explains it. Mm. <laughs> I'm overheating here. Well, mm. dear. <laughs> That's a, I used to pinch those from the church and dish them out to people. <laughs> yeah, I think that's probably where I got mine from. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I just give it to everyone. Right, David, are you going to introduce me to Bridget? Because I haven't met her before. Bridget, she, she, yeah, she's from Belgium. We're international now. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Bridget. Hello. <laughs> nice to meet you. Yes, nice to meet you. Uh -huh. <laughs> I was expecting oh, to get Belgium, where are you from? Uh, from Belgium. Uh, from Brussels. Brussels. Oh, oh. Brussels. <laughs> but my English is not so good. <laughs> oh, it is. Oh, oh it, it, it sounds pr pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Compared to our French. Yeah. Oh, cool. absolutely. Yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> My daughter, my daughter has friends say Popring, Poprengi. Is that great pronunciation? Mm. Say that again. Poprengi. Pop pop Is that the right pronunciation, Bridget? Uh, I I don't know. Uh, um, no. Je ne sais pas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Mm. Oh, anyway, she's got friends in Belgium. <laughs> <laughs> oh. When did you um, join join the art group? Were you here last week? Uh, no, the the week before. Week before. The, yeah. the, horse. the horse. The horse. The horse. Um. Yeah. Are you enjoying it? Uh, yes, yes, very good. much. Yes, good. <laughs> she did a good. She did a really good one. Hang on. Da, da, da. It's not um. Cool. No, it's not. Show and tell. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Oh, that's oh, nice. Yeah. That's yeah cool. Oh, wow. Yeah. Gosh, that's lovely. Yeah. yeah. That's very nice. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Nice contemporary feel to that. Yeah. Well. Mm -hmm. And almost got the horse captured. Well, it has captured some light, which is what yeah. we're always trying to find. So, and yeah. I kept saying, didn't I? I want the light to come from the left or one side or the other, anyway. Yeah, it's uh, nice. Good. Yeah, quite a few. Um, you know, I, I think I finished mine. <laughs> <laughs> I sent it to, I said, didn't I? I sent it to Verity and um, it was, uh, that's not the one, is it? Hang on. I sent it to Verity and it was, the response was quite underwhelming. Perhaps she needs to see it close up. That's the one I did, but um, I was Pauline's did one, didn't you, Pauline? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Uh, where no. Are we? no, it's not that way. Hang on. No. 
I'm gonna have an. Oh, that was good. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, that's oh, nice. that was fine. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, I, like that I like. One. I love it when I frame them up because it's like they look so mm, different. Yeah. Yeah, and, and I try to put a little frame border around them to match the you know green for the horse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we trying to find some oh. ones. Um, this week's. Yeah. Sorry. I was going to say I had a look on the I had a look on the gallery earlier. Um, you haven't put my own sheriff on. I haven't. No. Oh. Well, that's that's the end of our relationship then, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I was just looking to see what anybody had done, and I thought I'm sure I've done something since that, that one, whatever it was. <laughs> I saw your I saw yours so poorly. I'm sure I did when I looked. Sorry? No, no, not poorly. Christine, yeah, yeah, I'm sure I did. Oh, oh well, never mind. I, I, uh, I, had, I didn't see it. You had big black eyes, didn't you, on yeah. it? It was a bit... Yeah, we did see it. Yeah. I might have shown it on here then, like... Mm -hmm. Not to worry. That was it, yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Oh, yeah. That's on my kitchen floor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you're, it, oh, yeah. yeah. It was quite... Um, it was quite funny with, with all the the um, Afghanistan thing going on and that, and we were, we were painting, painting mm. pictures of sort of yeah. Tally Fanny. Yeah, <laughs> but never never say we're um, not in season. Uh, <laughs> I don't. I know. I don't think. Um, Listening to me is a good example of English for Bridget, really. <laughs> what, with my funny accent. <laughs> Sometimes when I play the video back, even I can't understand what I'm on about. So. <laughs> oh, dear. Great fun. Oh, dear. I think it's being recorded at the moment. Oh, dear. <laughs> I know last, uh, this morning, I was playing the guitar. So I might leave it in, I might not. <laughs> I, I was pretending to be a beetle. All right. <laughs> Today's adventure is, um, I've sent two images. It was this one, which is the Barbie doll, as um, Chrissy called it. Sort of, mm. Joyce thought it was Marilyn. <laughs> mm. It's close. Um but the image I'm really interested in, oh, not that one, <laughs> excuse me, is that one, which is more... Natural, isn't it? Yeah, it's more fun, more like a normal person. <laughs> but the idea, <laughs> the idea was to use the colour one as some sort of reference to, per, to guide, but I don't, I don't care. I, like I said before, I don't think it's that important. It's about... Well, for us, it's more the trying to get into the technical swing of it and establishing a, a go-to routine, isn't it? it well, it's certainly yeah. for me that um, prevents me from washing off the image. It's <laughs> the morning when I look at it and think, oh, I could do this, I need, oh, I'll have to start again, wash it off. Um, I didn't see any of your London pictures yeah. on the gallery. Uh, no. Oh, I haven't finished. Mine. Oh, okay. It's a it's quite a long winded picture that you know. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I I'll got to doing I'll, that. Sh I'll show you mine in a minute. Um, yeah, I and it did go. Did it go in the bar? <laughs> <laughs> the no. It didn't go in the bath. I used the sponge and some water. Uh, I'll show you in a minute. Um, or crack on. Uh, I'll have to change cameras and microphone. Oh, it is on the desk. Hang on. It'd be interesting to see that it's a good test that this camera's working anyway. Yeah, oh. that's really good. Oh. Oh, what I've done now. Hang on, I'll change my microphone, so I'll go quiet for a minute. Yeah. yeah, I think I've only actually done the sky on mine. 
haven't got any further. <laughs> I didn't even open the link because we had very, very poor internet. And yeah. so I, oh, I sort of came back to like um, 198 mm. messages. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <God>. <laughs> so it took me, took no. me a couple of hours last night to catch up with everything. Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Yes. I mean, yeah. through loud and clear, Captain. You are indeed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what I remember looking at this and thinking the back, the foreground wasn't what I wanted, so I painted it all white <laughs> and played. But I did put a little dog in, which uh, wasn't on that. It was start of a little dog figures. This morning, even this morning, I was putting um, some more information into the buildings mm. here. Um, a bit of um, what was his name? Yellow. No, golden sunlit, sun, golden sunlight, which is a colour from Terry Harrison. Joyce will know. I do. Which is, yeah. which is quite a. It's raw <laughs> sienna. <laughs> it's raw <laughs> sienna with a bit of something in it to make it brighter. That's why I say um, buying all these different brands of paint and specific colours kind of is pointless because. You can make a mix your own out of the three base colours, really, but we still do it, don't we? <laughs> it just saves a bit of time. But on this one, I've still, I'm going to put a lot more into it, yeah, a lot more information, a lot more detail and have a real good go at it. And I, I was looking, thinking later on, I might, um, well, I'm going to spray the, um, you know, scrape some pastel on here and... Mm -hmm. And make the trees look a bit more because when I'm oh there goes a book of a box of pens. It's just that when you look at when you look at the pasta ones, it looks so much more, I don't know, real or interesting. Mm, I think. Texture. Yeah. Yeah, it adds to it. Um, and that brings me to something else that I said to my, hang on, let me, I've got another, it's all right, oh, help. Mm -hmm. Anybody want some watercolour pencils? I've got a whole load of them here, floating all over the floor. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know. Dave's a maniac. Here we come. I still, I've still got this one on the, on the board. Cassius <laughs> Clay. Yeah. He's on the back of here, but this was an. Um, can't really see the sketch that well but I've, I have sketched it out it's using a grid and a bit of it's um, those tissue. threaded teeth again isn't it yeah we've got that it's, issue um, is it my imagination or have you painted it on top of something else it looks no, like a beach I've sketched mm. it yeah it was um, it was a painting but there's a, the sky yeah. uh, the nice sunrisey <laughs> Guy, it's the Isle of Wight in the background. No, is it? What's that one? Yeah. <laughs> right, the Isle of Wight and the pier and all the rest of it. And I, I was looking at it as I thought, well, I'm going to stretch. It. Oh, no, I don't, I don't want to do that picture anymore. I'm going to um, <laughs> over it. One of the things I would say about um, scale on portraits, um, if you draw, let me get a dark pen. Oh, Sharpie, that's dark. If you take your figure and proportions, if you draw a line from the, across the chin, another line there, another line there, another line there. So you can divide it into, well, three, <laughs> one, two, three, really. One, two, three, yeah? Um, mm -hmm. The, the normal the normal guideline is the bottom line is the chin the bottom of the chin 
the middle line, this one here, is the base of the nose. So, is the base of our nose and our chin. And the top one here are our eyebrows. It's not quite a stick man. <laughs> and the top one there is the forehead. And it, and it kind of works every time. Mm. <laughs> Looks um, like Miss Piggy. <laughs> <laughs> Who's it, is it remind you of someone? <laughs> the, ears, the ears aren't far off of that eyebrow either. So there's a, there's a good mm. little uh, measure as you as you do it as you you know as you, if you're doing a freehand sketch that um, you're there or thereabouts. The other one that I think I mentioned before, um, I'm sure I have, but it's a good good one to remember is that there are eight of these in one of these. So whatever your figure, there are eight heads, normally eight. So if you can imagine eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, there are eight heads roughly in the body, a normal one. Apparently someone said ladies are slightly less, but I'm not, I'm not these day and age, you daren't say things like that. Children tend to be obviously about five five heads but they're proportionately smaller so scale it down quite good though i'll paint it later mm -hmm. i did buy something um i forgot i said on my little messenger that i'd um been a good boy i hadn't bought anything but i have and it's not delivered yet it's coming today it's um uh, it relates to what we're doing here um, a, they call them potter's atomizers. It's like a little stainless steel um, pot with a hole in. You pour the paint in and you blow it in your mouth and it sprays it like an atomizer. Oh, <laughs> now yeah, why would I want to buy? Well, why would I want to buy something like that? Well, quite <laughs> frankly, it was for the backgrounds. Yeah, I thought if I could. Um, sometimes when you do them, the backgrounds, we'll, we'll try it next time anyway, when I've got one. Um, it'd be nice to have a sort of speckled effect and you can do that, you know, using the spray. Well, apparently. What colour of a background today then? Mm. <laughs> thoughts on a postcard, Carol? Wow. Um, well, I've got two tubes of paint to hand. One is um, sort of beigey colour, and the other one is colour I was looking for earlier, called burnt umber. Uh, <laughs> there you are. Oh, maybe not. Raw umber. Oh. Raw sienna. No, I don't want that. Raw umber. I want a brown colour. I don't know. So anyway, I'm just to recall. My palette hasn't changed. It's it's the light brown mocha colour, peach, sand, or dune, dune. There's a fresh, and I've got fresh white in there. Today's, I've got cerulean blue because I rather like. Uh, you get a lesser, a more subtle dark with the cerulean blue and the burnt amber. We'll, you get these sort of nice sort of grayish tones here which is which i think is more suitable for um, what we need i haven't cleaned the palette shall i or shan't i i don't know um possibly not just go with it Mo i know i'm so full of oh, excuse me just got a white thumb that's active so the first stage, I'm going to do something with the background first. I think I've got, because I've got all this. Um, uh, previous painting to 
sneak away. But I have drawn an outline of Diana's hair. That we always that's where Carol comes in <laughs> play, being a hairdresser. Hairdresser. <laughs> I was when I was um when I was a lad, I used to sit at the back of the class at college and sketch all the students, all the people in front of me and the lecturers and that. And, that, and one thing I, I recall was I used to think it doesn't look like them, but it until you put the hair on. Yeah. Mm. So I'm just squishing the white paint off my thumb. Ugh. One way of getting rid of it. Mm. Doesn't matter. It's just a bit of white gouache that I use. Um, I'm going to squirt on. This is burnt umber, uh, raw umber. It's brown, isn't it? That do. And a little tube of this sort of sandy flesh tone. St. Petersburg, I might have put too much on looking at that, but we'll see. And I just wanted the two to blend in. <gasps> you can always Ooh. tell when I when I <laughs> when I overcook it. But the paper is really wet, so it's gonna I just want it to mingle. Set the scene. But clever bit, it was obviously not making your your um subject wet, otherwise you're it would have all spread in, wouldn't it? Yeah, I like that. That worked, Carol. Thanks for that. Nice. <laughs> yeah. That's oh, a, dear. That's a, a brilliant tip. <laughs> Only, oh, problem is now I've got a pretty, pretty damp brush that I'm now going to put in that pot and it's all going to go yuck. <laughs> all that lovely colour. I think I need to go a bit closer here. Once you, um, I'm still trying, you know, I'm always going on about paint with your arm, not your, not your hand, especially on portraits. I'm still doing it, still trying to get it, you know, it's a, a conscious thing. You have to tell yourself to do it while you're painting. Mm. Well, I've got rid of the background now anyway. That worked. Mm -hmm. Just to get a bit of old tissue at the bin. Can't use new tissue on paint that's on the side. And we'll just let that. Oh, that's a good, good way of using up old paper, isn't it? Mm. Relax. I've got, um, hang on, where are they? I've got a few images. I've gone all posh now. I've I've got a little tr tripod easel in the for at the back over there with so I can sort of stand and look at the image. But the ones I'm working on are basically the, the ones I said. I've mm. got a nice black and white one which we can use for tones. But that one, I don't know, I'm using so much printer ink trying to get an image. That one was the one that I probably, it's got, yeah, I like that one. That's got a lot more in. And what I also did, I'll, I'll send it to you later, is I used um, some software curves and brightened up the image as well. So mm -hmm. it highlights, the, you know, the contrast between the shadowy areas and the not so shadowy areas. Um, Hopefully we can do something with that. Trouble is with these, um, getting these, they're basic, a lot of them, they are publicity pictures really, aren't they? Is mm. that um, there's, there's a lot of retouching going on. <laughs> so the image that you think you're, um, you know, the thing that you're painting is, has been tweaked by some, someone anyway i think i'll um i've got
got some green. Just a hint of green. This is sort of a rubbish green. It's the same one I've had there for weeks. I don't use much green, as you know. If I'm green to me is yellow and yellow and blue. But I, there's a little bit of cerulean blue added onto that. And I'm using this little rain brush. Goodness knows why. Just with the first one that came to um came to hand. Get a little bit of waste paper. Always a handy thing, isn't it? Before you dive in. So that was a little bit of cerulean blue. Maybe a touch more. I'm just I'm look trying to establish the eye. The eyeball. Not the eyeball, the eye. For a minute. I know it looks a bit scary, but <laughs> bless her. <laughs> if you feel it's sometimes these colours can be less transparent than you think. So just a dab of tissue on them can take a lot of of the pain on, you know, of the intensity away. And uh, trying to think up a the more of these we do, the easier it's going to be to. Well, that's my theory. Two, the brushes I'm using, I've got two flats. I'll offer the first little black one. This is an oil brush, the rosemary evergreen brushes. Probably available in Belgium. And uh, so that's a quite a nice brush. I've got this dark, splobby paint here. I'm just going to add some raw sienna to that. Sorry, burnt sienna. Funny, isn't it? How you get a colour in your head. And add some. I want it. I want it. I'm thinking I want it to be a dark fleshy to a dark and what I'm trying to do is look at the um the picture and establish some dark tones in it. But I don't but I think in the past when we've been looking at it, the tendency is to make it as slightly too dark when it's really just a flesh, isn't it? Just a fleshy tone. Go on, stick some, see it's almost too strong. I want it to be less so. I'm just trying to establish some dark colors dark areas just looking at the the image i'm gonna hold that palette a minute burnt umber good color you can always add a hint of blue if you want to make it a slightly darker tone different tones is what we're after isn't it and uh just look, look for them, find them, and just knock, knock them in. I always have trouble with the hair, I feel, to be quite honest. Mm -hmm. Until at some point, until like tomorrow morning or something, I'll look at it and think, I need to add some darks or... or which is, uh, what's someone going to say? Light, add some light highlights to it and lift lift bits out. But I've been finding more and more, or I've decided more and more. I think I use the, um, the oil brush. It's a bit more clunky. 
I've been finding more and more that I keep forgetting what I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> more, no, what I was going to say was um, I've been finding a lot more lately that what I've been doing is just. Ooh. I forgot what I was going to say again then. It came back and it's gone. <laughs> 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 I'm mad. I was, it must oh. be difficult talking and trying to concentrate on the picture as well. Well, <laughs> yeah. well there's nothing nothing flash going on here because all I'm doing is looking at my um black and white image and teasing in some just looking at the image and saying where are the shadow where are dark areas? And trying to just pop them in but when i do it the way i rec reckon you should do it you felt like i'm just going to paint this dark area here but i'm not looking at it as a, a whole i'm just seeing a dark shape it's a little triangle area i think if you if you do that it's a bit like i don't know like any recipe isn't it? you'll slowly build it up It's just a, that's annoyed me that, not knowing what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Look for shadows. Just look for. Bags under it. You can imagine this, um, Diana's stood up there saying, I've got bags under my eyes. What's he doing there? Yeah. Oh, so funny. Just looking for the shapes. It will come back to me what I was going to say just in a minute. It relates to what I've been doing more and more. Now, what was I saying that I've been noticing? Hmm. Pass on that one, Dave. Did you have a nice holiday anyway, Chris? Yeah, it was lovely, thanks. Yeah. Kingston Kingston Moorwood, was it? Yes, yeah. It was only about half the amount of um units there though, because the Dorchester yeah. show had been cancelled. So yeah. a lot of people didn't bother to come. Plus, yeah. when um, the Caravan Club, when they put the advert in the magazine for people to see, instead of putting it in the southern region, which we are, uh -huh. they put it in Devon and Cornwall. So our advert for Dorchester was between Newquay and Boscastle. Oh. <laughs> so anybody looking for Dorchester would have looked at it and thought, oh, the meat's not on again this year. Oh, gosh. So... Um, but it was nice, really, because it was, meant we had more time to relax and enjoy it. Yeah. Anne and Gordon are off to Buckler's Hard this coming weekend. Oh, lovely. Yeah. That's, that's um, Bewley, isn't it? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 it's lovely there. Yeah. I've... It's posh. Bit posh. <laughs> well, we camp in the in the little field, sort of opposite the main car park. So we're just we can just walk straight in. Well, the millionaire's walk. playground, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are you, are you, uh, is the yacht parked over there, or this Don't is just know. burnt sienna, uh, burnt burnt umber, raw sienna, and whatever that colour was, cerulean blue, that I'm just looking for. I'm using this brush, um, br dry. You won't be able to hear it because the microphone's not, this microphone's not that sensitive. But as I'm doing it, as I'm going, you can 
hear the brush rush, rushing against the paper. I know it's a not finished paper as well, which adds a little bit of coarseness to it. Um, but as I say, uh, I'm just thinking lights and darks, shadows, see if I can find a few. And as the brush dries off, it sort of goes, I can put just little bits on, being watercolour, of course. Got to, what, you've got to be careful how it's done it. These oil painting brushes, the water, the, um, when you wish them off in, wash them off in the, in the clean water, the paint doesn't always come off. I've been caught out so many times here on that. There you go. What about this area here? Some dark. This is sort of a shadow area. I was up all night as well. I forgot to say. I'm surprised I can. That's why you've probably forgotten what you were going to say earlier. Hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to forget that. <laughs> if you forget it, it'll come back, doesn't it? It's yeah. Like... Were you stargazing? I was. It was clear sky, so um, I set my um, telescope and camera and all the rest of it up, clicking away at um, different galaxies and nebula till five o'clock this morning. Right. I wasn't. I was in bed. <laughs> I'm not that daft. <laughs> um, flesh tone. What do we say about flesh? Mix up some yellow and a little bit of rose madder if you've got any. But then trouble was, well, problem I've got here is that's going to be really strong, I think really i'll try it on her um yeah it's going to be quite strong but that's okay we can add some water set the scene that's a bit too too insipid so i've got some i'll send I'll send Bridget um, some links to the paints that I use, if, just out of, just in case, well, for fairness, really, and brevity. Otherwise, I, I feel guilty, really, because I'm, I'm cheating. Well, I'm not cheating. I'm just using a flesh tone straight out of a tube as part of my... Um, part of my um, method of working. But hopefully we can get some. I think I'll be finished early today, girls. <laughs> <laughs> I've, put, I've had a word with the chef. I told her I want, um, could you just do some scrambled egg? She's made a lovely, I went in the kitchen last night Melanie made um, a loaf of bread, sourdough one. And I went down to the kitchen this morning. So I'm doing what I say not to do. Um, and I could smell it. It was absolutely gorgeous. So it's just on the side. Sourdough has that really nice smell, doesn't it? It's not... Yeah, it's great. So it's... Um, so I put in an order when <laughs> as Melanie came downstairs, I put in an order for, for could you just do some scrambled egg? So now I've got um, some lettuce in the greenhouse. So 
I was, it's a bit like um, being in a restaurant and they say, which lobster do you want, sir? And, they, you know, and then they go away and cook it. Mm. <laughs> I feel like that when I go in there and grab a lettuce. I think, oh, no, poor little thing. <laughs> Saying that, they're in the greenhouse. My lettuces are in the greenhouse. And I just looked a couple of days ago and I thought, well, I'll just check through them. And I think lettuce are born with slugs on them. <laughs> there was two little slugs nestled in amongst them. I think this um, flesh could be pinker, actually. It's difficult with girls with loads of makeup on. Um, what um, some artists, um, portrait artists do, they'll, they'd make this really soaking wet now. And um, we could try it. I'll spray it. One methodology. So you can make it nice and wet and just drop the paint in and let it let it run and do its biz. It does you can get some ah Whoa. well it's okay. I didn't want to disturb your eyebrows, madam. All I'm doing here is putting some flesh onto the oh, see where I put the shadow. So as far as I can make out, it's what we're doing. Set the tone with some with our shadows. Now I've got to watch it here, otherwise. Where well, I've I've got a little pencil line there that must be a lip. The last thing you want to do is paint out someone's lips. I wonder what colour she was in real life. Her hair oh. colour. Could have been a ginger. <laughs> mm. Well, in the it's still prevalent now in movies and TV, isn't it? Red hair goes, it films better, doesn't it? Well, that's what they were telling me when I was a kid, so I tend to believe it. Oh, look. So she's coming together. Yeah. I, can, I can see her help. I can see. I haven't even got a rigor out yet. Tell you, we're going home early today. <laughs> <laughs> the only problem is she's a, a funny angle. So... Her nose has only got one. Oops. Wow. Well. Oh. Well, I'm not saying that too much, but I think I've. That's one of the better ones I've done quickly. It's because it's a girl, isn't it? Go on, say it. <laughs> I suppose I don't know I'll screw it up don't worry give it time it'll all go to pear shaped at some point got the lips yet mm. <laughs> oh it's the it's the um, the gnashers that are the issue isn't it mm. I can't remember what I said about those now did I say Treat them as though they're their flesh. I remember last time I, I was painting them a problem is I in the doors and any of these girls, they always have lip gloss on of some description. So you've got to accentuate that area. A little bit, haven't you? Trying to paint with my arm and not my hand. And there's some highlights. I'm just going to block them in, stuff it. Um, that's art artistic technical term. <laughs> oh, wow. Ooh. Put some highlights on it and I'll be getting there. 
Yeah. Well, I suppose you can't, the lips you can't go wrong with because she would have used um, a lip gloss. So you can just sort of tell yourself, well, that's, that's the shade that she had on that day. I'm going to try, oh God, not to make me, make me chin too, go too round. This is the hard bit now, isn't it? Try not to miss, because she has got quite a jaunty chin. What I wanted to do is put a little bit of shadow down here. But, mm -hmm. got some there. But I think, looking at it, value color, if you, if you um, read up about value in, values in painting, it's all about, um, or part of it is about um, light colors and shapes recede and stronger colors come towards you. So why I keep rattling on about it is because it can add um depth you know can give make us a, a flat thing curved um you know i was i'm trying to do here by adding a little bit of white there i've tried to give the impression that you know the shoulder's coming towards me and there's a highlight on it and this is all in her hair. Pardon? I thought that was it. I thought she had a t-shirt or something. No, not in my picture. Just a bare arm, is it? Bare shoulder I've gone for. Okay. We're artists. We can make it up as we go along. That's okay. No, I think it works that way. Mm -hmm. I think it, it kind of works. I'm just going to see how it goes. I wish you hadn't said that because that's, that's, <laughs> that's thrown me now. I'm just looking at the bottom of the picture and I thought, what's that big white thing? And it's um Yeah, she did used to wear um <laughs> furs and that, didn't they? Well it was the thing to do back then, wasn't it? Yeah. Um fur coats and stuff. Try and find some more highlights if we can. Got to be careful here. we can do you know i'm gonna have to put some um add a little all i've got is i'm just adding um the white in here one of the main reasons is because where i've painted over the top of the picture i can still see the pier on the isle of white poking for it <laughs> so it's the only way to sort that out is a selective dab of white that will give it a little bit more opacity i don't mind anyway it's in a, it's not um i'm not doing it as a Commission to sell. I haven't sold a picture lately. I haven't really, I have tried. I have a chat, see what happens. You can get some good effects. Once you've got a bit of white on your brush, you can smooth things around and chase it over here and there. Be careful, I'm looking at the wrong picture. And maybe this is what I was thinking of saying earlier, was that I'm finding more and more that I've been painting pictures and then moving off from them for sometimes, you know, days or it can be weeks. 
and they're just sitting there on the board. What I've, the point is, what I've been finding is that this is watercolor, Chrissy, not obviously not acrylics, that the paint, the watercolor dries really after sort of a, if you come back a week or two later, it's dried really in a way that it's so solid and tactile when you start making amendments to, you know, when you start uh, teasing bits out and like, like correcting stuff and that, it just works. It's just nicer to deal with. Don't to put too much white on. It goes a bit pear shaped, but the thing is, you can lift it off. I hope we can. Mm -hmm. Mm. When it dries back, it'll be all right. Can add some more. What's the what's the uh, the routine? You walk it. You go to another part of the picture. Annoying. See, I've got the rigger out now. Anything can anything can happen. <laughs> Once to get that and thing attached to me on. I think I might just sit sit down here for a sec. Just put in some just a bit of flesh, colour, gums. Uh, once I put the highlights on them, those should come out a bit better. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's my. I always take con consolation if with a when you're doing a portrait that um Rolf Harris spent a year painting the Queen and we did ours in, in an hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's amazing really that what we can do in such a short time. This is just a bit of dark around the outside of the pupils. Try and emulate what's in one picture onto the other. Not easy. Still need some highlights in it. And you become a makeup artist, don't you? <laughs> Once you get that rigor in, you. Try and find some eyelids and the bits at the bottom. Trouble is, well, it's not one of the things you notice is how 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 good a makeup artist <laughs> girls really are. They can put like little faint lines for eyelashes and all kinds of things. It's beyond me. I'm a I don't know about these sort of things. Mm -hmm. And Mel tells me she never uses it. Well, she would say that, I suppose. Is that a girl thing? Makeup <laughs> never use any. That <laughs> <laughs> uh, was funny yesterday. I was on the 
Pauline messaged me to say that <laughs> she might not be might be going to the beach. Didn't want it, Pauline. I, and I thought, oh, that's a shame. It's always nice to see you there, there, <laughs> there, there. Yeah. <laughs> when, I, when I wrote oh. it, I thought that is funny. <laughs> I know you shouldn't oh. laugh at your own jokes, but yeah. <laughs> oh. So I was thinking, that's exactly what it was, wasn't it? We were talking on that. That's right, yeah. <laughs> On the last video, and everyone else had gone. And Pauline's trying to say, I'm going, I'm off. It was like going on and on and on. Bye, <laughs> bye, bye, bye. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, it tickled me, that did. Huh. But the, getting back to it, the only colours I'm using are the ones in this palette. What I'll do is I'll take a photograph of it and I'll email you it with some labels on saying what it is and who where it's come from. You know, what brand I'll put some links on for especially for for Bridget. Uh, 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 uh. Poor old. See that's the face bit that was all white a minute ago is starting to dry this is trouble with watercolors isn't it yeah. but um when i did it a minute ago I thought, oh christ she's looked like she's had a fight with a powder puff but <laughs> as it's drying back it, it changes completely um what i might do a minute is uh, let while it's drying back even more I want to put, I'm going to do it while I think, hang on. Teeth are a bit strong, but that's okay. Just want to look at her nose. So annoying that you, you can't have the person sat in front of her, of you, and you can sort of look directly at the bit that you want that you're not happy about mm -hmm. you know what i've been doing lately is um print screening when i'm watching tv so i can you know if there's a, a film or something you can um do a print screen and you'll get a pit a copy of the image because sometimes on a, on a on a movie set or on a film, the characters are um, much nicer. I don't know. You get more expression and all this bit. So I did the other day. Oh, Mohammed Ali, uh, Cassius Clay. He was being interviewed by Michael Parkinson mm -hmm. on the chat show, and of course he's 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 partially relaxed. And then he gets angry. All the emotions are coming out and he's just himself. So I did about two or three print screens on, on that while he was doing it, while it was there. I've got some really lovely um, pictures of Cassius Clay to play with. Thinking if ever I to reprise a picture, then I think he would be a good one to do. What colour hair do we go for? Carol, oh, blonde. <laughs> well, should I just should I just have a laugh? Hmm. I'm going to make a mistake and just use yellow oh. for a minute. I've yellow? put loads of um, gentlemen prefer yellow blondes. <laughs> Very brassy. <laughs> oh, I keep doing it. I've just put my hand in the. Well, I just want to put some colour there. So it's let's orange. Yeah, it's the yellowy. Oh my God, she's gone orange. Golden blonde. Is it? Oh. Uh, hang on, we'll put some white on it in a minute. Shall I? <laughs> oh. Oh. 
but bear in mind. Because... She, she used to have like bleached hair though, didn't she? So it was yeah. really white. Yeah. Mm. And I'm sort of thinking, why? 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 Why do we have to copy it? Well, yeah, it can be any colour, can't it? Even back then, they could paint their, they could dye their hair. Uh, dye hair any colour they want. Mm. I'm quite liking this, you know. Probably Fresh. when she was young like that, it was more natural blonde anyway. Well, that's what I was thinking. I'll... When she got older, it was more bleach blonde, wasn't it? Yeah, I was here the other day thinking maybe <clears throat> I could, I, in my, one of the colours I've got in my um, box over there is um, gold. I was thinking, cool, we could have some real fun and put gold in it. Mm. Gold in her hair. The only reason I'm doing it is because... Um, where the shadows, um, I've put in shadows around here and over here. If I put um, yellow on it, I, I think it all, well, it's not yellow. It's, I've just added yellow to the flesh. I Flesh tone was yellow and rose madder I've used. So what I've done is added more yellow to it to make it more of a golden flesh color. That's all. Is so that really, rose madder? What what make of paint is that? I said I said I said just now. What I'll do is um. Oh all right, yeah. I'll take a photo of the palette. Yeah. Because I've been using this palette for a long, long time, time. Now, quite a while. It's only got a few colours in it. Um, and and then what I'll do is I'll put some labels on the things. So mm. I think that'd be quite useful. And I'll put the links to where I get them from. So, well, with that, got to be so careful and tapping the brush on the side of the brush, uh, side of the bowl, water bowl. I've got two massive bowls. Yeah, you see, you have to watch it because it sometimes it doesn't empty the brush. Yeah. It's because it's an oil brush, I, I'm assuming. I'm struggling be, um, with her. Oh, well, it is a. It's a demo, isn't it? It's not meant to be a full-blown thing. It's just that I keep getting um, the lines of the pier on the Isle of Wight. Yeah, I can see mm. that. Creeping mm. in. <laughs> well, um, I'll let it, I'll let it uh, while it's damp, it's always going to seep through because I can't put uh, enough um, opaque colours in. But one thing of consequences and action. Action and consequences are really important in any sort of painting. If you do something on one side of the face, chances are it's going to enact a balance. You're going to have to put it on the other side. Anyway, enough waffle. Let's get some. I've put a base colour on, so I should be able to add some white onto the hair now. I think this, this brush is quite nice. Did you get some of these, Carol? I think someone no, did. I haven't, no, I haven't got those. They're no. um, handmade rosemary brushes. Right. I mean, she sells brushes all over the world anyway. But I can see why watercolours artists would like them because they is annoying on some subjects, but they they're, they're they've got a stiffness about them, and sometimes the hair at the point splits, so you, you don't get a nice smooth mm. um, sort of line. What you'll get is a broken one. Well, sometimes when you're painting some subjects or some areas, that's what you want. I'm just adding a bit of white, just to see what will happen, really. Trying to find some. I don't think her hair was white in that picture. 
No, I think it looked better with the coloured. Yeah. I think I think <laughs> it's I think it's more of a it would have been more of a golden mm. yeah. um, blonde colour. I think it looks better. I'm just looking at yeah, the Yeah, that looks better. The, yeah. yeah. I'm just looking at it at the moment to find some highlights in the hair, that's all. But and the other thing, the other issue I've got is where it meets the background as well. So I'm not copying out, but I will what I will say is um you need to make she looks really nice. Mm. Um you have to wait until it's till the paint's nice and dry and then soften it down and blend it into the background and possibly even make the background harder. I'll try that in a minute. And um uh, I'm just flecking in some 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 highlights. Mm. But if you see this brush, if I go, it almost sense it's, it made two lines there, not the one. It's mm, good. If you look on the end, you yeah. can almost sense that it's that it splits up. So when you're doing things like hair follicles, yeah, that's a bit posh word. How do you spell that? <laughs> I think. Hmm. Well, it's more about the process, isn't it? I, I'm really pleased that I've attacked it with in a relaxed, um, confident way, which is what I'm trying to emphasise today. Is to say that. There's a method that you can get to a certain stage. And we've got to this stage quite quickly, I think. I mean, sometimes when I've done it, it's been, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but it seems like it's taken me an age just to get a, any sign, any sort of, yeah. The mouth is, we've all, there's a reason why, um, Portrait artists don't do teeth. That was amazing. That the National Portrait Gallery exhibition and the Mal Galleries, and none of the none of the portraits that won the prizes had any teeth in. <laughs> and, and as we've gone on, it's become quite apparent that it's a bit of a cop out just so it's just so so much easier not to paint the flipping things maybe I shouldn't have done that I don't know it's a question of should I or shouldn't I but she has got a shadow under her nose under the nose area but equally, now the more I think about it, it it's like it, <laughs> she's got a moustache, which <laughs> I, I don't think Doris Day would have ever. Uh, Diana Doris, Doris Day, where's that come from? Okay. That's the American version one. Just need to push that shadow area over there, really. I use a what's the Which famous ring? Oh, my rigor's in my hand. Just want the bridge of her nose to come down a bit. It's better. I'm not even looking at the picture anymore. <laughs> I'm just yeah. painting her how I wanted to look. Yeah. And why not? But as I said, because I've incorporated the white into the picture when it when it does bone go bone dry. You've got such a a lovely option of using a damp brush and just teasing and blending and softening down 
that's when you will become a makeup artist. Mm -hmm. Just gently teasing stuff out here and there. Doesn't work with a rigger. Not very well. Because it's too whippy. You have to put too much water on to get it to soften anything down. Hence the reason these um, oil brushes, that's the pointy one, are so, so good because they've got that inherent stiffness in the brush that allows you to push paint around like that, that area there. It's too dark. So what I do is it's just damp brush and a bit of tissue in my hand, which I'm just pushing it and wiping it off. And you'll get some lovely soft, soft effects. Maybe your eyebrows are a bit strong, but we can lift them off the same way. Really good fun. I think we're, I, I'm, all these years I've been painting and I've always poo pooed doing portraits. And now <laughs> I, I have more fun and more, well, I, don't, I don't know if more is the right word, but I enjoy it. The challenge is so good. It's, when you just put one little bit in and you can recognise the person instantly, that's the that's the yeah. key, isn't it? That's when yeah. you know you've cracked it. <laughs> I suppose in a way, you could argue that what I'm doing by saying I like painting them like like the Audrey Hepburn picture. It was a picture of her from holding her baby oh. as a mum and the the, the um, it's going to be such a different um, image and, mm -hmm. and look on her face that's what I like to do and that's why I've gone for this one because it's I mean, and it, as an artist while you're painting it you can get you can become involved with it as well which is nice because you can think Cool. If only she knew what was going to, you know, what, what was because in hindsight we know what what happens to her life, oh. um, good and bad. And you think, cool, oh, the innocence, the, all those sort of feelings and emotions can come into it. You don't get that. Some, I don't. Oh. You can get it to, to a degree in a landscape. Because it's especially if it's deja vu and somewhere where you've been and you met people, so it has got that thing, but it's not quite the same. You, you can't get, I don't think you can anyway, I, I don't think you can get quite as personal. I'm not, I don't know what time is, but I'm not chickening out, but I'm getting to the. To, the point where I don't want to do too much more to this. Um, I want it to nice. to set. Nice it's nice and loose and natural, mate. Eh? Mm, looks I, good. I don't want, yeah, I, I can add more, like little bits of highlights. Her lips are, and things like that. But what I tend to do is. Um, Put a little bit of highlight on and then take it off or just blend it in. Try and soften it down and get a feel for it. And then stand back. Like the blue touch paper and stand well back, isn't it? <laughs> but um I th is this the first woman I've ever done? No, I did the Queen. Oh, maybe Queen I'm... and Audrey Hepburn. I haven't finished that. Oh, oh right. Still and an the... outline. Who is the other one? Yeah. Um... The artist. Oh, that's right, yeah. Curly hair. Yeah. I never finished that either. <laughs> oh, dear. 
Yeah, because I washed it off. I did it on the day. That's what I keep saying. I keep doing it. And then washing it. I like this bit. I don't know why. It's sort of... Mm. I think at some point um, I'll be looking. Yeah, I think I've... I think, and I haven't even put in any... Um, any little bit of sparkle in the eye yeah which you can uh, add at, at leisure but like Chrissy says you've got to be so careful because you, um, you get to a certain point where just one one little bit of colour can knock the figure side oh why do i keep doing this here have a bit of white <laughs> Damn. well the reason is the thumb hole we pick it up is right next to where i put the white right so every time i put my thumb there it goes straight on to, into the white palette um the only color i'm i'm having trouble getting Ooh. 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 Mm. <laughs> Not that one. No. That's a green, by the way. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, don't do that. Um, is to get a really, 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 really dark, dark, which I did kind of guess I would that I would have trouble with. Because um cerulean blue isn't intrinsically a dull a dark color so the only color that I, that I would normally add would be um ultramarine I'm, I'm going to resist it for now because stick with local color so I've just mixed up the, the green cerulean blue and burnt umber I'll try and get some dark shadowy bits to put in the hair that's all um one thing i was going to do before i oh i don't even like this mm. i don't like oh. good teeth no i i'm going to lighten them lighten them down I, mm. i'm conscious of that i think where you put the dark yeah, I know. Um, That's the bit I'm going to lighten. Yeah, it makes it look a bit back tooth. I don't know what <laughs> she does look like. <laughs> they are. If you look at the picture. Are they? Yeah. I can't remember what the picture is. They are. Like. They do tend to be. But it's only until you, because the photograph, ah, that's a good point, Chris. Photographs are two-dimensional. That's what yeah. we do for portraits. Because you end up bringing, I'll tell you who she reminds me of. And I and it crossed my mind. Um, I've got a little bit of white here, but I won't use just white. It needs to be a little bit of flesh, fleshy tone, or an off white. Um, reminds me. She reminds me of. Um, Bridget might not know this one, but um, Karis Matthews. Karis Matthews, who used to be the lead singer in um, Catatonia years ago. Oh, gosh. I don't know who that is. No, uh, I don't well, know. The song's, the song's quite, it was an international song. It was the ones like Mulder and Scully, wasn't it? Didn't, didn't it give me road rage, Mulder and Scully and all that. And she's a TV presenter now. And it reminds me of her. And I was thinking about it last Last night I was looking at the photo thinking, do you know what? If I didn't know, she comes from Swindon, um, Diana Dawes. But if I didn't know better, I'd say she was Welsh. <laughs> she <has> a... <laughs> oh. Why? I don't know, because there are obviously some Welsh girls that I know that we might that look like, like Diana Dawes. <laughs> anyway, I'll put a little bit of colour on them and have a play with them but they are big teeth oh. there's, no, there's no getting away from it oh, i quite like them there 
Okay, I've softened it down anyway. And when mm. it's when it's bone dry, that's why Gordon hasn't turned up because he knew that we were going to be painting teeth. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got and the last thing he needs to be when you got tooth ache, the last thing you need is some idiot <laughs> painting <your> teeth. Um, <laughs> Look, uh, I think the um, uh, I think the jury's out on this. I need more. One of the colours that will resolve. Um, I don't know if anyone's got it. Is neutral tint, so it's not black. It's more like a transparent medium. So if you put that in your palette, I'll make a note of that. And that'll make things um, really start to start out, but you've got to be careful with it. But the idea is put it on there that it dries a little bit more transparent. Neutral black it is neutral tint. And that'll give you the opportunity to really highlight things. And you can use it like, you just treat it like a watercolour. That was just clean water, soften it down and blend it in. So where you've got really dark shadows. That's really good Beg pardon? That's really given it depth. Yeah. Oh. It's Definitely. what I was saying. Um, the, if you like, the, the theme, the message today, besides having a bit of fun, was the thing I mentioned earlier was about colour values. Mm. About the value. You'll see it in books and all the time. And that's what they're on about. Using colour to give things value, the colour value, give it depth. I mean, I'm accentuating it a lot there by adding a lot, but neutral tint will do that for you. Mm. It's got to be careful. No, because nice. when it when it dries, it it will, uh, some of the colour underneath will come back. You know, it will show through. Hence the reason it's neutral. Mm. Done it again there. Put that, um, clean my brush off, went like that. And look at the colour, I've got a big grey sludge. And I wanted clean water just to soften these areas down. Just maybe, I don't know, I have to stand back and have a think about it. Um, but equally, we can use it in the background. I was talking about it earlier saying that maybe add a bit more depth to the background as well. It will mm -hmm. The alternative to that, of course, so we can add tone to the background. Which one? Mm. See that, see what it does? It does, brings it, it, it changes it. Mm. So what I was, so it goes back to what I was saying earlier was cons consequences and effect. Every, if you do something somewhere, so guarantee it has an effect somewhere else that you wish you hadn't done. Mm. But the equal opposite to that is to get some white and we'll do the opposite. It will tone it down even more. I think I'm gonna rest on my laurels here and put some golden back into that, possibly. See what happens. Let it settle. 
and it's just yellow with that red, but make it more yellow. And because I got it there, I'm going to put a, into the flesh color into it and just become a makeup artist for a day. When it's dry, we can add some of the dark bits back in from, which are now really dark because they've got that neutral tint in them. Bit I want is that bit there, isn't it? Make sure I don't forget that. Add some whites. Oh, come on, we can have a play with this for hours. Mm -hmm. uh, da -da, which? Oh. I don't know. I can't make up. I can't make up my mind when to where to be, where to stop, and where not to. You could get in nice areas. It's the same with all paint, isn't it? You get a nice passage, then a not so nice one. You wish you hadn't done that. Trouble is, you do one bit and you're really happy with it, but then you've got to try and balance it. Exactly. And, it's and then, always. Yeah. Always... There's always a, a, <laughs> a finite blend and mix. And with watercolours and the way I'm painting this, the way, I, the, the way I'm doing this using, um, ooh, opaque, it's all right, I just put black into the yellow, into the skin tone, not black, whatever colour that is, tint colour. But when it's dry, as it dries back tomorrow and later, we can soften things down, blend things in. There's no reason why you couldn't introduce the um, cerulean blue into the hair as well. Because that'll give it a nice, because it's all local colour and in the shadows to tone the shadows down because where it meets the we can add a little bit of the swirling blue and that'll tease it out oh diana <laughs> molly yeah i'll, I'll well because you know we haven't done many portraits i'm quite happy with this yeah I look forward to having you at home. But it's always the same. You get to a certain stage where things are, well, it's usually back now, where it's so wet and damp. Um, it doesn't matter what I do. Well, what I want to do won't happen because it's, I want to do it, you need to do it now when it's had a day or so to dry. Mm. Then you can tease, like these bits here, you can tease them in a bit and perhaps add some more softer, softer skin tone. I've decided, Chrissy, that this is skin now, <laughs> that okay. this is a shoulder. Um, so at some point I want the hair to come down a bit more and lighten it up even more. Try and find a highlight there. I'll have to ask Mel to show me a shoulder later so I get an <laughs> idea what a shoulder looks like. That'll get a, that'll get a thumbs it's a down. Bit, it's a bit high at the moment, isn't it? Like you say, yeah. bring the hair down to take that pointed a bit off of it. Yeah. That's nice. I like it. Mm, yeah, it's That's good. Nice what enough. time is it? Are we off for time? Five past twelve. Five past? Mm-hmm. Good minute. Yeah. Well, because I don't mm -hmm. see it on this bit here with the it's got um the oil of white in the background. <laughs> <laughs> It's really frustrating me, but it will 
I don't know. Will it or won't it? It's only because you know it's there. It won't be after a while. I'll just put some, keep putting a few layers on. And as they, as they dry back, I'll be able to soften it down and it will disappear. And the same with, well, what's going to say, I, with these portraits, I don't like using the hairdryer. Mm -hmm. I find it, I know for, for speed and that it's, it's handy, but I've, one of the things that maybe that's what I was going to say earlier, that letting them dry naturally is so much, it just, I don't know, it feels, the, the painting feels better later on when, like two days time, when you think oh, I want to just tweak this, smooth this down, uh, soften this, add some highlights here and there. Um, it's gone a bit bland over there now, but that's okay. We'll get it back. And add a bit more yellow. The girl with the golden hair. Mm. That's what it said in the song, isn't it? It's the girl with man the with gold. golden gun. <laughs> Are you a man with a golden gun? Roger Moore. Yeah. Gold finger. <laughs> with the golden touch no I'm, I'm going to leave that now and say mm -hmm. I might change uh, I might have a go at the, the background I don't know why well it's just a just a personal thing but I've got a funny feeling that if I introduce some green to the background it will give it more yeah, it's status similar, isn't it, at the moment yeah, it might give it a bit when more. When the hair was white, when the hair was whiter, it yeah. didn't. It looked, you know, it looked yeah. more contrast. Yeah. Now it's more mm -hmm. the same. Color. Yeah. So mm -hmm. what I'm thinking, what I'm thinking of is mm. just adding. If I, I'll do it there, as it's done. But is if I start to put some green back in, into it. Because uh, it all, see what I mean about needing to dry off. Mm -hmm. um, it'll add a different, I'll add a different context to it. So that's my homework, is to mm -hmm. concentrate on the background, um, reintroduce some nice white toning bits on the hair, maybe even scratch a few bits out. It would more likely be um, using clean water and just lifting like that. Just lift it, just carry on lifting it back and it will come back. But as I say, at that point, you become a more of a, a like a hairdresser than an artist. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it will lift off. But at, at the same time, I've got some because there's an underpainting there so it, mm -hmm. I've had to try and swish that out of the way but as it dries that's the beauty of using the the um, some of the, the white um, gouache is it called the one I've been using is it's not French it does have a French sound in there I don't know why I think no maybe not yeah, Le Franc, Le Franc Bourgeois, Linnel Gouache. That's one I use. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> That's about as. It's quite nice paint, actually. It's very. It's not easy to come by. Mm. Well, when I tried it, it wasn't. But you can see what's going to happen there. As soon as I start introducing the green, it's going to it's going to make life quite interesting. Give me something to do. Mm. I don't oh. know why. I'm just drawn to it. There you go. I'm happy with that. Mm. But 
put some more hair down there let that tease over a bit but the, the what's the word the structure is there the bones are there when it's dried back we can get some highlights or add a lift off a few bits just but they mm. those that that side that part of it is personal <laughs> yeah, it's a personal preference thing. Yeah, I think the postman's been <laughs> <laughs> yes you're right I haven't seen that for a couple of weeks. <laughs> All right, boys, that's enough. <laughs> uh, I changed microphones. Can you hear me? Uh -huh. Yeah. Sat down now. That looks really nice from where I'm sat here now. Yeah. Good. Mm. Good. Yeah. Well, garbage in, garbage out is the old computer term. And if it doesn't, if it looks, you know, if it, if it looks good at one stage, you ain't going to lose everything. I've got white. Yeah. I think it's um, yeah, I'm quite, I'm content with that. I might, Chrissy, looking at it on the screen, I'll have a think about saying, yeah, I think I'll, I think she might have a t-shirt on. Can, I I, but can you just show us the original picture? Just see the bottom of it on your paint. Yeah. And just pull it down so we can have a look at it. Looks a bit like a jacket because it's got like a stand up collar. Oh, mm. yes, yes, that's what it is. Yeah, it's that big sort of winged collar, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Yes, definitely not an arm. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Change of tactics. Yeah. <laughs> That's better. Yeah, it's definitely some sort of a fancy collar on it. She looked a bit too young and innocent to have that much shoulder being displayed. <laughs> Where's Joyce gone? She's still there. She just switched her camera. Mm. Yeah. Mind you, you can't hear Dave, so obviously he's on the other microphone, isn't he? So. Yes, that's true. He could be talking away and we can't hear him. <laughs> no. I want you to hear us. We can talk about you now. Yeah. Yeah. No, I can hear I can hear you fine. Oh, you concentrated. <laughs> you can hear us. Yeah. Oh, that nice. Yeah, it gives me more, more scope now. Yeah. yeah. It's only when I sat down, I suddenly thought, uh, hang on here, Dave. No. But where I was, when I'm, when you stood up close, you can't, you know, you don't see it, do you? No. You, no. Stop, no. you suddenly think, mm, I'm not sure about this. Mm. Yeah, voila, I'm really chuffed for that. Yeah. It's nice. It's really good. There's, it's got potential. Mm. Where are we going? View. Gallery view. Woohoo! Um. Yeah, I'd like that. I'm really pleased. <laughs> not, often, not often I go away thinking, yabba dabba do. Oh. You've done it. Lovely. Oh. Right. Mm. I'll sit happy, there. Yeah. Very good. 10 so out of 10. Get me brushes yeah. out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mm. Having a fortnight off. <laughs> it's yeah. inspira inspiration, that's the thing. Mm. Everyone. Brigitte, yes. I just go like that in a minute and go, there's mine. I've done one. Oh. <laughs> yeah, she's this is she's busy times. painting. <laughs> yeah, okay. mm. but, um, as I say, yeah. I'll, um, I'll, I'll take a picture and I'll, I'll post. 
what the palette was and all the rest of it. Mm. I must tell Phil, I must send Bridget an email with um, my PayPal address on as well, so because she's buying tickets, we just don't need to now. Because mm. yeah. I, no? I hate that that we someone buys comes more you know often than to pay so and so one pound. 60 or whatever it was for the privilege of buying it is ridiculous yeah yeah, yeah. It's, it's good you haven't got to keep rem remembering it mm. so much easier to just do it that way mm -hmm. cut out the middleman that's the way isn't it mm -hmm. that's, that's it, it. <laughs> right i'm off i shall see you and see your pictures next week yes yeah, yeah. look One, forward to that yeah. Well, as long as you, it's inspiration, isn't it? As long as you're inspired yeah, yeah. to crap. Yeah. And like I always say, I love it when I make a mistake or something goes wrong because I <laughs> I have to, I mean, it does make me feel faint sometimes. <laughs> 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 yeah, oh, my goodness, what the hell have I done? Oh, gosh. <laughs> but it does, it forces me to fix or at least try to fix it in some sort of way or another so i learned something good and it was, in my in my mind it makes me think that other people looking will think he may yeah. i'm not going to fall into that trap or mm. I'm oh, gonna, i don't know <laughs> no, i'm going to follow <laughs> oh, gosh. it's nine oh. tenths it's i don't know what is it seven tenths confidence three pence Two percent skill, um, the rest is luck. <laughs> oh gosh! <laughs> the other way around. <laughs> some, um, some proportion, um, but there is an element. Yeah. Of luck. Oh look! Mm. Look at the state of you. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Can you just put a reference um, to those brushes as well? What size they were? The stiffer yeah. ones. Yeah. They look. When, when I um. Yeah, when you do all that. Yeah, when you <clears> send out the video link, probably tomorrow yeah. afternoon or something. Um, in the meantime, I'll, I'll, I'll write a, a little sheet. Mm. Yeah. The idiot's guide to how not to paint. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um, you don't want to go yeah. there. I'm definitely going uh, now. So bye everybody. I'll see you okay, next week. Okay, bye. 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 Right, we're all going um, now. Bye, yeah. everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Bye, Bridget. Bye. 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 Bridget. bye. 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 See you soon. Have you got a moving date yet, Carol? No, we're just waiting for the parts for this bed to come. Um, right. Then, right. then it's all ready to go. So. Right. Um, it's horrible hanging around because I've got a lot yeah. well, most of the stuff is packed except for right. some bits and bobs so the house doesn't look too <laughs> bland yeah. Yeah. yeah so mm. yeah oh, well. I think they're going to start on the roof soon so Fisher says oh perhaps we ought to stay here till the roof's done because it's going to be a bit noisy whether right. anybody wants to rent it but I just want to get going now it's horrible yeah it's, yeah in between lots of things yeah can't settle can you no no some days i'm good some days i feel really stressed yeah. out and down i just want yeah. to get it get it sorted yeah 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 down. so hopefully i keep telling everybody the next couple of weeks <laughs> it goes on and on and on but anyway we will get there yeah yeah, yeah nature of the beast isn't it yeah 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 i'm pleased with two of my girls they did that 25 mile walk. oh right yeah it took them 12 hours oh god wow. they, they <laughs> caught the train to weymouth and they walked to corf castle yeah Crikey. so they got some brilliant pictures with the really yeah. steep yeah. bit but luckily they took out the really steep bit between lowest cove and Kimmeridge, right? Because Peter and I did that walk years ago. We went down on our bums and crawled <laughs> back up. We went down and up, and then we had to come back again. That was <laughs> oh, so yeah. you know, but 
Yeah, they did it. They had a few blisters, but they did yeah, it. I bless them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, so they, they raised some more money for Macmillan, that so did. that was good. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. I don't think I could ever have done that amount of walking. <laughs> no, no. I don't. Oh, is Joyce going? Bye then, Joyce. Bye. Bye, Joyce. Hi. I, I, I should I say goodbye. Oh. <laughs> See you next time. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay then, Joyce. Bye. Take care. Bye. Yeah, Bye. 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 Yeah, I'm going to go now, so... Uh... I've got to go and let my daughter's dog out. So. Oh, that'd be good then. Oh, well, I look forward, look forward to seeing all your pictures. <laughs> yeah, hopefully get one finished this week. So. Yeah, I'd fancy doing that. I'll have to do it once I get my paints back yeah. out. Yeah. Doesn't look really look like a watercolour, does it? It looks no. good. Yeah, yeah. No, excellent. All right. Oh, okay. See you then next we'll week. Yeah. Okay. So, what, what are you doing next week, Dave? Well, haven't you made up your mind? <laughs> yeah. Um, oh. Hang on, two seconds. I can't remember what it was. I probably had a look through the thing. But... Oh, yeah, I haven't had uh, a look. Oh, it's a seascape one. All oh, right. All oh, right. With a really nice sky. So it should oh. be. Yeah. Oh, I... oh, are you ready now? Okay. All right. Yeah. I better go now then. Okay. Yeah. okay. Bye, see you next Carol. week. Yeah. yeah. See you next yeah. week. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Thanks very Bye. much, Dave. See you next Brilliant. week. Bye. Bye.